Hello, welcome back to Merc Gaming. This is going to be episode 28 of our Hogwarts Legacy walkthrough. Right now, I'm going to work on getting an Invisibility Potion and a Thunderbrood Potion. So, to do that, we're going to head to Hogsmeade and talk to Mr. Medarius. I think it's Pipkin. I think he runs the potion shop. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. What can I do for you today? So... Here's a villain... This really pushing for 500. The recipe is 800. A wise decision. Thank you. Okay. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Acquired use of it and then use the Thunder Brew. And then he also has a quest for us. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Hmm. So he gave us four invisibility... Oh, well, he gave us... He actually gave us the one we needed for our quest. So, how many... Let's head into here. Wonder who lives here. Kind of curious about something. Revelio. I hear the student who chased Ranrock's loyalists out of Lower Hogsfield. Yes, I thought that was you. Well done. Yeah, thanks for your gold, lady. There's one more chest. I think it's locked up, though. Yep. So... Where are we going? Oh, 
fly down here real quick. Right here she is. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Always late that Pippin. She's already complaining about. Let's see why she don't like him. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. Ha! <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Oh Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. Oh my. Tab. Tab. There we go. And it works. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. Nepotism. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers oh, have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. <laughs> Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What, what do you have for sale? for sale? What are we looking for today? Oh, we can sell them. This will do just fine. Thank you. So let's... Thank you for stopping in. I... See, there's an upgrade here.
Which one did we have one before? Bathing costume, oh boy. Okay, now we'll sell her. Nice to see you again. Likewise. What can I help you with today? What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? So we're gonna sell all the stuff. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Revelio. There's a Merlin trail down here. Merlin trial when I see one. So Rebellion. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. So it looks like a it's the Merlin Trout thing there. And I think I see a movable object up here. Expelliarmus. Mm. Also. Out, cart. Come on. Island itself would be proud. Now we gotta return to Mr. Pippin. Can I get this in here? Let's look around here real quick. Let's see if there's anything else we can. Revelio. So there's another one. Here, oh, I can see it right there. Uh. Another one uh. up here. Right there it is. Revelio. Head back up to Mr. Pippin. Hugs me, here I come. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. 
I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Nothing to worry about. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. So we got a hat. Some experience and some gold. Now let's get fine. Some bad guys to fight. Trying here. I just need to find somebody to use this potion on. It takes long to find some bad guys. Please. Back to Professor Sharp's class. M. Hogwarts map. Now. Oh, that followed us. I think followed us. <laughs> Professor Sharp. Have you finished your assignments? Revelio. I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Good saying. Yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you... I want to make sure you're well prepared. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Okay, spell. Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. Uh, 
up. Get up here. Ah. Try it again. Space, space, F, F. Very good. It seems you have a grasp on Defendo. I would encourage you once again. Then in the now. classroom, for your sake and that of everyone else. Defendo! It's a pleasure to have a student who actually heeds instruction. Nice. Okay. Now let's take a look at, I need to get a Venomous Tentacle, a Mandrake, did I already have a, have a Mandrake or not? Let's see, I need a Tentacle, I have a, no I don't have a Mandrake, or, so where is... in the greenhouses and see if I can get any of these. Off on another adventure, are we? Revelio. Some leaves. Revelio. Life is so peaceful in the hamlet. I guess I'll have to go by. Mandrake. Uh... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there we go. There's our venomous. Identify back at him. Revelio. See if there's any other free plant. So we have our venom. The only thing we need to get now is a mandrake. So we're up to. Let's check out our room requirement. Potion station. Dittany, we can plant that. Magic. Death Cat. Mandrake. Let's get down to. What's a big upgrade? Which one is the plant place? 
magic dip. Oh, ooh. oh, here it is up here. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Rebellion. Watch yourself, though. Let's have you leave here alive. Yeah, just back here. Try it out. Oh, there's an easy 500 gold staring at us. Watch this. Whoops, in it. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Oh, Madam Welcome Green. to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, uh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little deers. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. Okay, let's What do you out. have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Chinese mandrake. Buy one for right now. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go so, far. Now we need to use the tentacle and the mandrake. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. So let's head up north. Find some enemies to fight. Not big on using potions and plants. I know you can really make some unbreakable, you know, like really powerful builds using them, but when I did this first playthrough, I didn't really use them that often. I didn't have any problems beating the guys, the enemies in this game. I dream of making a better world for me. He's weak. When's the last time you saw him catch a beast? Spends more time petting the things. Beasts don't mind dying to make me a few sickles. So I multiple enemies. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, but you trusted the wrong kind. <laughs> You're the son of St. Treadwell. Huh? Just how many witches and wizards have you? I feel a burning sensation. Okay. Oops. What do you have in store for me this time? Simon? Good Good day, God. God. We have an axe. Was that meant to be an attack of some sort? Yes, you can bring out. Yeah, 
Let me help you. He's peddled their teaching in school. Expelliarmus. Incendio. Can you bring that forward? You had me. Alright, ready? Let me help Expel the arms! Confringo! What have you done? Confringo! Reductor! Predate! Not so tough now, are ya? Confringo! Remiosa! Expel the arms! Incendio! One less poacher in the wizarding world. That was a little crazy. So let's head back to Herbology class. Hogsword map. Library. Greenhouses. How nice to see you, my young friend. And here's the... Wonderful to see you again. Where's she at? Oh, there she is. Let's talk to her real quick and learn this spell. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. Slot it up. Levitation charm can levitate move objects. Control the position by using the F, B, Q, and E. F, B, Q, and E. Well done! Feel free to practice Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. You're a natural. Professor Garlic. A moment of your time? The plants are resting, so now's as good a time as any. I was wondering, what made you want to teach Herbology? Oh, How lovely of you to ask! I've always had an affinity for greenery, so this situation is a bit of a dream come true. After graduation, I was thrilled to be asked to step in for my old Herbology professor. He'd had a slight accident, you see. Oh dear. A shame for him, but it worked out well for you. Hmm. Well, he never cared. I mean, really cared for the plants, and they could sense it. Oh, you'd be surprised how perceptive a plant can be. Hmm. At any rate, the trouble began one day when he cut into a Wigan tree. Unfortunately for him, its leaves were hiding a bow truckle. You may recall the marvellous creatures that resemble a twig. The little beast gouged the professor's eyes quite fiercely, but terrifying i'd imagine uh, likely for the professor too and that's when you took over as the herbology professor well not quite after three weeks at st mungo's my predecessor regained a tiny bit of his eyesight he insisted on returning to the greenhouse within a week he had he claims by accident kicked a chinese chomping cabbage so it was back to st mungo's for him What a string of bad luck. Hmm. Well, I felt awful for him, but I dare say I felt a bit more sympathy for the cabbage. <laughs> Upon his discharge from the hospital, his indifference to plants had turned to utter disdain. 
he lost what little patience he had left with a particularly temperamental venomous tentacula and, well, his resulting leave of absence continues to this day. I'm glad everything worked out as it did and that you're the herbology professor now. Very kind of you to say. I do love these gardens and helping my students grow. Huh. Lovely speaking with you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and remember, be kind to your Wigan trees. Okay. So now the only quests we have available are Ghosts in the Law, which is just an appearance. I'm not worried about that one. In the map chamber. So we'll head back to... Oops, map. Back to here. Okay, that's going to do it for this episode. I'll see you guys next episode.